Good morning and welcome to prayer during the day for the season of Epiphany on Monday the 11th of January. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous. And all the peoples have seen your glory. The Canticle, A Song of the Covenant. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it. Who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to 
open the eyes that are blind. To bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Our Bible reading today is the first chapter of the book of the prophet Amos. The words of Amos, who was among the shepherds of Tekoa, what he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah of Judah, and in the days of King Jeroboam, son of Joash of Israel, two years before the earthquake. And he said, the Lord roars from Zion and utters his voice from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds wither and the top of Carmel dries up. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Damascus and for four, I will not revoke the punishment. Because they have threshed Gilead with the threshing sledges of iron. So I will send a fire on the house of Hazel and it shall devour the strongholds of Ben-Hadad. I will break the gate bars of Damascus and cut off the inhabitants from the valley of Avon, and the one who holds the scepter from Beth-Eden and the people of Aram shall go into exile to Ker, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Gaza and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they carried into exile entire communities to hand them over to Edom. So I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, fire that shall devour its strongholds. I will cut off the inhabitants from Ashdod and the one who holds the scepter from Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyre and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they delivered entire communities over to Edom and did not remember the covenant of kinship. So I will send a fire on the wall of Tyre, fire that shall devour its strongholds, Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because he pursued his brother with the sword and cast off all pity. He maintained his anger perpetually and kept his wrath forever. So I will send a fire on Teman, and it shall devour the strongholds of Bozrah. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of the Ammonites and for four, I will not revoke the punishment. Because they have ripped open pregnant women in Gilead in order to enlarge their territory. So I will kindle a fire against the wall of Rabbah, fire that shall devour its strongholds with shouting on the day of battle with a storm on the day of the whirlwinds. Then their king shall go into exile, he and his officials together, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There are perhaps few things that people appreciate less than a person coming from somewhere else and telling them what to do. That, however, is precisely what Amos was called to do. Amos was a southerner, having spent most of his life in the southern kingdom of Judah. But he did his prophetic work 
in the northern kingdom, Israel. Were the Sumerians likely to be happy about having a southerner come and give them a right good telling off? Probably not. Amos, Amos, however, was bright. He began by denouncing the surrounding nations. He called them out for their violence and military excesses. He said that God would never forgive them. What a way to lull an audience into a false sense of security. There was a sting in the tail for the Israelites, however, as we will see tomorrow. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. We come now to our prayers. So as we gather in Christ's name this morning, let us bring to mind those who particularly need the prayers that we can offer. Father, we pray first for the church. Hear our prayer for those who teach the Christian faith throughout the church and throughout the world. Guide them and open the hearts of those they teach to hear and receive your truth. Bless, we pray, Fiona Stevenson and her work with Mission Aviation Fellowship. And hear our prayer for the people and the ministers, the Anglican churches in Aotearoa, New Zealand and Polynesia. Help us to remain hopeful and faithful in these difficult times. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the world. We remember those in positions of authority and influence in this country and in all nations that needs may be noticed and addressed, good values upheld, and all people respected. Hear our prayer for the people of America at this critical time. Ensure that peace is maintained and a smooth presidential transition is effected. We thank you for all who work in the National Health Service and for all involved in frontline caring. Sustain them, we pray. Hear our prayer too for all in education, for teachers and governors, governors, children and parents. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for those close to us, family, friends, neighbours. In these days, we are ever mindful of the importance of human relationships. Be with those who have no one to love and to care for them those living alone, 
those cut off from their normal network of relationships. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. <clears throat> Father, we remember now all who are in need at this time, the housebound, those who are feeling the pain of separation, others we know who are in need for other reasons. Hear our prayer today for Jenny Jordan, Muriel Davis, Amanda Chalmers, Derek Mannerings, Jill Davis, Monica Clinch, Paul Yates, Gemma Vokes, Darcy Risley, Tanya Thomas, Colin Ironside, Heather Crease, Nicola and Blake Goddard, and Chris and Julie Hodgkins. Help us to have open eyes to see those who may need our help. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our <clears throat> Father, we pray now for those who have died recently, among them Anita Emmerich, Pat Page, David Bourne, Chris Goodall, and John Crease, and others whose anniversary of death we commemorate at this time, among them John Jarrard, Ruth Carpenter, Kenneth South, Janet Stickland, and Hazel Powell. We commit them all to your everlasting care and protection. We ask you to keep us faithful to the end of our life. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Finally, Father, we remember with thankfulness all who influence our community life for good all whose example shines as a light in the darkness of these times in our locality. For them we thank you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Believing the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace. And in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>